One of the things we study extensively here at UCT is high-mass X-ray binaries, and that's when a neutron star, which is an evolved star, is in orbit around a normal main sequence star, a very hot, very young star, uh, which has an equatorial outflow or an, a, a decretion disk. And that's when the star is spinning so fast, it's throwing material off around its equator. So what happens is you've got your neutron star, it's in orbit around this very young, massive star, and as the neutron star comes into periastron, so closest approach, uh, you see outbursts. Uh, we were monitoring uh, the SMC, the Small Magellanic Cloud, uh, which is a galaxy in the southern hemisphere, uh, which is known to have loads and loads of these high-mass X-ray binaries. And while we were monitoring in the X-ray, we managed to find one of these sources in outburst. And due to the, the nature of SALT, we could follow up very, very quickly because we had already had an approved TOO program. Uh, this meant that from actually first seeing the X-ray outburst to following it up into the optical with SALT was maybe hours to days. Normally this takes much, much, much longer. And because we could follow up so quickly, we actually found what we believe to be some of the first direct evidence for an accretion disk around the neutron star. So a decretion disk is forming around the normal star, that's material being thrown off, and then the accretion disk is forming around a neutron star, which is material falling on to the neutron star. And we know this because we saw a, a helium-2 line in the spectrum, which is strong evidence of very, very hot accretion disk. So we put in a monitoring program of SALT for my master's thesis um, with the Robert Stobie spectrograph, which is an imaging uh, spectrograph. So we, for our project, we were following these so-called BE X-ray binary stars, which form a subclass of high-mass X-ray binaries. And we were studying, we were interested in studying the H-alpha line uh, variability, which um, originates from the disk around the BE star. So we are, we are looking at this data along with um, X-ray data to study how this disk uh, variability affects the X-ray outburst behavior.